If you're struggling with your two-handed backhand, you might benefit from copying a small detail from Djokovic's backhand. Let me show you. Hello, it's Ryan from 2MinuteTennis.net, and in this video, I'm gonna help you with your two-hander, and specifically, I'm gonna show you when Novak Djokovic begins turning his hips when hitting that shot. Now, I've got the Topspin Pro here. You know what to do. Check out my affiliate link in the description below. It would mean the world to me if you used my link to get one of these for at-home practice. All right. When does Novak Djokovic begin turning his hips into the shot? Well, first let me show you when most recreational players begin turning their hips. And when I say most, I mean the ones who struggle with their two-hander being loose and powerful, and it always feels so, feels so stiff and tight, and they always have to like muscle the ball. So if that's you, this video is for you. When most recreational players turn their hips is after they've dropped their racket. So you watch recreational players, they'll turn the rackets up, and then they wait for the racket to drop completely, and then they begin turning their hips and shoulders into the shot. What you want is, with the body movements on any stroke, is you want one movement to blend into the next movement. You don't want one idea or one movement to complete itself, and then you begin the next movement, because it's, it's not a seamless uh, transfer of energy from one movement to the next. So when you drop completely, then you're stationary, then you've got to muscle and turn the body into the shot. What Novak does, and I'm going to show you Novak here in just a second doing exactly what, what I'm going to say, is what Novak does is as he drops his racket, he begins turning his body. And as the racket goes down, because he's turning his body, there's a little wrist flexion. It's not a movement on purpose that he makes. It's just as the racket begins dropping, he's already beginning to turn. And then the racket kind of bounces down, not hitting anything, but it just bounces off of like how much his wrist can flex. And then it comes back over to the side to contact. So what you don't want is this. What you do want is this. You can think of Agassi from years ago doing this, where as his racket was dropping, he was turning his body into the shot. Let me show you here a video from uh, 12KGP Tennis on YouTube. Uh, so thank you so much for letting me use this video. I want you to look at when Novak begins turning his hips on these backhands. So this backhand is a great demonstration of this. So his racket is gonna go from here to here. He's not gonna wait until it gets to here to begin turning his hips and his shoulders. Watch this little, he's got like a white symbol printed on the chest of his shirt. Watch that white writing on his shirt disappear as his racket drops. As the racket goes down, we can see his body rotating. Notice we cannot see his back, we cannot see his right butt cheek, right? But watch, as the racket drops, now we can. Now we can see his back. We can see his shorts or his right hip. So he's rotating his body as the racket is beginning down. What I see with most recreational players is they drop the racket and the racket comes to a complete stop and nothing has happened to their body. And what that means is then you have to muscle it from that point forward into contact. You don't want this movement to come to a complete stop before you begin the next movement. Each movement should be seamless into the next movement. It's like a row of dominoes, right? So these are dominoes. And this domino falls, and when it hits that domino, this domino falls, right? If you set the dominoes too far away from each other, this one comes to a complete stop, right? It comes all the way down, it's flat, and then it can't knock over this domino, right? You want each movement to be seamless, and it flows into the next one. And that's kind of how dominoes are, and that's how the kinetic chain is. As the racket is dropping, you need the next move to begin, which is the hips and shoulders turning. That produces just a smooth, relaxed shot. I absolutely love the left side of the V demonstration here. Left side of the V. <laughs> I wasn't planning on saying that, but just the fact that he keeps the racket to the left of his hands as he swings up. He does that so often. It makes it so that... There's no wrist on his backhand, super, super smooth. So keep your racket up on the way back. And then as your racket begins dropping, begin turning your hips. Start turning your chest toward the net as the racket's dropping. And you'll feel so much looser and smoother on your two-hander. So the way to practice this is to get your Topspin Pro and film yourself doing this. 
And what you want to do almost at first is learn to feel what it's like to do it incorrectly. That way you know not to do it. Is turn, keeping the racket up, then just drop the racket without rotating your body yet. Just to feel what's incorrect, right? So you can differentiate the two. Drop without doing anything and then rotate the body into the shot. That would be incorrect. What would be correct is to keep it up and then as your racket is beginning to drop, you begin turning your hips and turning your shoulders into the shot. And what you'll feel if you're loose enough is you'll feel the right wrist flex over. As the weight of the racket goes down and the arms pull forward, it'll show in the hinge of the wrist. That actually helps you close the racket face as well, tilting the strings down, which makes it very easy then to be able to spin and brush up the back of the ball. So you wanna turn and then begin turning again as the racket drops. And that's what I'm demonstrating here. I'm beginning turning into the shot as I feel my racket begin to drop. And if I'm loose enough in my hand, that hinge shows up. You know who did this? Agassi. Agassi was awesome at this. You want to turn the hips as the racket's dropping. And you can just with the Topspin Pro, see the ball spin, so it lets you know that you did it correctly. Work on this. This is a small little detail, but boy oh boy does this make a huge difference. If you're feeling tight with your two-hander, it might just be that you're dropping without any body rotation. You want to start the rotation of the body as the racket is dropping. And if you do this, there is no doubt, you're going to gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this!